Notice this is a compound inequality. It contains two inequality symbols, so we will solve for x by getting x by itself in the middle. Let's first remove parentheses, so I have negative 3 is less than, that would be 2x minus 2 times 3 is 6, is less than or equal to 4. I want to isolate or get x by itself in the middle, so I first add 6, and I will add 6 to all three parts. So the left side, I will add 6, the middle, I will add 6, and the right side, I will add 6. Negative 3 plus 6, that is 3, is less than, notice in the middle I have 2x, and then is less than or equal to 4 plus 6, that's 10. How do I finish solving then? I divide all three parts by the coefficient of x, which is 2. So I'll divide the left side by 2, the middle by 2, and the right side by 2. The left side, that's 3 halves. By the way, I'm dividing by a positive number, so I do not change the direction of my inequality symbol. The middle, the 2's divide out, and I have simply 1x or x, and then less than or equal to 10 divided by 2 or 5. Here is my, or here are my solutions, I should say. I want to write it in interval notation. So once again, let's just look at a very simple graph. Here's 5, here's 3 halves, that would be a bracket on 5, and a parenthesis on 3 halves because of the inequality symbols, and I would be shading everywhere in between. Now let's write it in interval notation, just follow the shading from left to right. So I'll have a parenthesis, 3 halves, comma, it's shaded all the way to 5, and then a bracket. So all numbers between these two numbers are solutions. Also, 5 is a solution because of the bracket. 3 halves is not a solution because of the parentheses.